something first? Or why don't, you, why don't you talk about, like, how much cardio should a person do? Okay. So first of all, it depends on the purpose. So for example, what, what do we want to accomplish with cardio? Let's say we want to burn fat, because most women want to burn fat. How, okay. how much cardio should one do? So and first should of it all, be in intervals? Okay. Excellent questions. Whoa. Before everything, I would like to start by saying that diet is the most important. So if your diet is not taken care of, uh, cardio won't really do too much for you. Um, let's put some numbers on it. Let's say you run on the treadmill for an hour, you burn 400, 500 calories. Right. You feel great about yourself, so yes. you deserve a reward, obviously. Yes. Um, so you go to a fast food store, you get a, um, a burger, fries, and a Coke. That's 1,000 calories. 1,100 calories, right go. back in your body. Mm -hmm. So that cardio will not do anything for you if your diet is not in place. So diet is absolutely number one. Except, Except that if you didn't do the cardio, yeah. you'd be in worse shape. In worse shape. So it's eating half the calories. Correct. So you're really only having 500 calories. Exactly. Okay. But you're still uh, at a 500 calorie surplus or a 600 ca calorie surplus. Yeah. Um, so that's that's the first thing I would look at diet. Second thing I would look at is actually resistance training. I don't say strength training on purpose uh, because resistance training is a bit more all encompassing. You mean those bands? It can be uh, it can be bands. It can be dumbbells. It can be your heavy your free your body weight free weights. It can be anything. Your body doesn't know where the resistance is coming from. It just knows resistance. Um, that's why I would look at uh, resistance training in second place. In addition to um, resistance training not only builds muscle, it also burns fat. Here are some more numbers for you. For every pound of muscle you gain, you burn an additional 13 calories per day. Okay? So now that's good. So you, the you more weight you put sitting. on, the more calories you're burning. Exactly. But provided that weight is coming from muscle. Now 13 calories doesn't sound like a lot, but what if you put on 10 pounds of muscle? Now we're talking, now you're burning 130 uh, calories per day additionally if you're, if you're resting in bed. Even if you have a desk job, if you're doing anything more than bed rest, you're burning uh, substantially more than 130 calories per day. So that's why resistance training is in second place. And there is one other um, important reason why uh, resistance training should be um, taken above, above cardio but below, below diet. Um, that is, your body has two fuel sources that it burns to stay alive. One is sugar and the other is fat. Okay? Now, with the resistance training, you burn primarily sugar. Why do we want to burn sugar? Because take away one fuel source, you're only left with one other fuel source to burn. That's fat. So if you do resistance training properly with the right amount of sets, the right amount of repetitions, and the right exercises, you take away the sugar, you're really only left uh, with fat to burn primarily until your next carbohydrate-filled meal. Which okay? is what you want to burn. You want 